So, uh, but it's an interesting matchup because you have Damian Maya, who nobody wants to go to the ground with this guy. It's, his whole thing is he he just struggles and fights to get guys on the ground. Like like the picture with Rory McDonald, he could not get Rory down. He couldn't do his thing. He just couldn't do it. However, he's been doing his thing. He's on a he's on a serious win streak. And he's looked phenomenal, and everybody's back in Damian Maya. They really are. I remember when he fought, when he fought John Fitch. People were like, "What a boring fight!" And, uh, and it was really cool because John Fitch was kind of like people considered him to be boring. And to see Damian Maya beat him at his own game, it was it was pretty cool. But like his performances since, like this win streak he's on, they've really been. Pretty exciting. I mean, quick finishes. Uh, I think that's a big part of what it is. Like, it's it's not boring. You know, people will say, oh, if you understand it. But even if you understand what's going on, I mean, to, to watch two guys just lay there and, you know, uh, you know, one guy, it's just, it for, for like round after round, it gets a little stale. But to see somebody, him come in and finish Carlos Condon like that, I mean, that is just, that is just plain exciting. Even if you don't know that Carlos Condon hadn't been finished in 10 years or whatever it was, you know, if you know that, that's exciting. But even if you don't know that and you're watching the fight, it's still exciting. People are like, whoa, it's really cool, you know. So I think this is what I think should happen. Because Damian Maya is older and he's performed so great, I think they should give him a title shot against Tyrone Woodley. And... Uh, because if he loses to George St. Pierre, which there's a good chance he might, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't take down Rory McDonald. He couldn't do his whole thing. I think he's going to have a hard time doing that in submitting George St. Pierre, because people used to say Rory McDonald was kind of GSP's like shadow. Um, he's a little turned out to be a little bit more of a striker, but. Uh, you know, he couldn't get it done against against Rory. I mean, could Damian Maya take down and submit George St. Pierre? <sighs> I, I I could see George stuffing his takedowns, and then obviously he's going to, whatever whatever striking takes place, GSP is going to win uh, on the striking cards. And, uh, you know, it is an interesting matchup, though, because would GSP be taking down... Damian Maya, or he he would look. I think he'd be stuffing takedowns, or would he get taken down? I just don't know. Damian Maya is a pretty big guy, uh, so it is an interesting fight, and I would be excited to see it. I actually would be. But this is what I think they should do. I think they should make Damian Maya versus Tyrone Woodley, because just because Damian's getting older, and you know, if you if you lose against GSP and it's it's a it's a lame fight or if, you know GSP lays on him, that will be somewhat impressive though. If he doesn't get submitted and he's able to do the ground and pound thing and not get submitted, that would actually be pr impressive. Uh, you know, for him to do that, but I don't think that will what would happen. I think he'd be stuffing takedowns and out striking uh, Damian Maya, similar to Roy McDonald. When Roy McDonald fought Damian Maya. So this is what I think that they should happen. Damian's look so great. Him versus Tyrone Woodley. And Steven Thompson versus GSP. That will be a cool fight. Just because I feel like we've already seen Damian Maya versus Rory. So Damian versus GSP. I, I think the outcome would be very similar. I think the fight would be very similar. I think the outcome would be similar. And it would kind of blow Damian Maya's chance at a, at a title when that's really not fair. He loses one fight. You know, he's looked, he's on a win streak. Um, you know, and then you got this guy that's been retired and, you know, coming off a loss too, by the way, because Johnny Hendricks beat, Johnny Hendricks beat GSP and they gave GSP the win. Um, and I just seen a thing of GSP talking about coming back and fighting in Toronto. <sighs> Saying, oh he's, oh, he's been drug tested so many times. He's in the pool. This is exactly like like Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been tested six times. 
he's tested so much he's gonna he's sore from he's sore from needles testing him and all this. This guy was jacked to the gills, so you know I'm see the same pattern. GSP oh, I've been tested this many times, but then the fight's gonna be in Toronto. I mean, come on. Who are these fighters taking this fight in Toronto? Are you out of your mind? Say, look it, I'll fight GSP, but bring him down to to Nevada or something like that, you know, at least where it could still be corrupt, but you you know there's a chance that maybe it won't be corrupt because GSP is going to be gas to the gills. That guy's the biggest steroid juice head of all time. That's why I don't like him. He's just you know you take the drugs away from GSP and that guy he he just flat out sucks. It's as simple as that because he's relying on brute on brute strength to win the fights. You know, and you know it's all oh, these takedowns are so good. Well, yeah, because he's strong because he's on steroids. The guy's on steroids, man. His face is roided out. You know, so I see the same pattern. You know, that all have been tested this many times. That don't mean nothing. You can get gassed up before the fight and come out and look at Brock Lesnar. Go watch Brock Lesnar versus uh, Mark Hunt. I mean, it's, it's a joke. Man, it's going to be in Toronto. They ain't going to be doing drug testing on GSP in Toronto. Are you people crazy? Like, people dislike my videos, like, or say, like, my man, are you. Are you out of your mind? Like the Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz won three and a half rounds. Three and a half rounds. Conor was running away the whole time, looking at the clock, almost out on his feet. Are you people out of your mind? <laughs> you must be out of your mind. So you out of your mind to fight GSP in Toronto. So I think they should make Stephen Thompson versus GSP. You know, because we've seen Stephen Thompson beat Johnny Hendricks. Johnny Hendricks beat GSP. That, that makes more sense to me. And then put Damian Maya versus Tyrone Woodley. These fights are harder to predict because we haven't seen them yet. Um, Tyrone Woodley versus, you know, everyone was thinking Tyrone Woodley versus Stephen Thompson, but what's going to happen, you know, but Tyrone Woodley versus Damian Maya. I mean, that's an interesting fight. It really is. I think it's a better fight. And uh, Stephen Thompson, he, uh, I think he'll beat GSP. I do. And if GSP is able to beat Stephen Thompson, see that'll be that'll be impressive. It will because we haven't we haven't seen that. We haven't seen anybody do that to Stephen Thompson. Those are the matchups I think they should make. That's my opinions on on the matchups. And uh, and I'll see you guys later.